Butterflies and birds are good at advertising. They are daytime creatures, and in the day, you're going to see and be seen. So they signal their presence to each other, particularly male birds, which have bright plumage, and butterflies with bright colour. They signal by using that colour. But in the night, you can't be seen, so animals rely on different cues. They use sound, and frogs croak, and crickets chirp. Well, some animals signal with a sound all the way through, in the day and the night, and amongst them are the cicadas, these beautiful creatures which have often glowing colours and these transparent wings. They've got a life cycle which is a rather peculiar one. They don't spend very long as an adult. They'll die within a few weeks. But they spend about seven years in roots and uh, vegetation underground, preparing for the moment where they emerge to mate, often just after the rains. They haven't got any time to lose. They have to let each other know where they are. So they start to chirrup and they keep it up, sometimes round the clock or nearly so. The trick is, how do you make a noise like that? Well, it helps if you're built a bit like a steel can, and a cicada is in part. You've probably done this. If you take a, a steel can and press on that rounded steel shell, you can make it pop inwards, like this, with a ponking sound. When you release the grip, it ponks out again under its own spring. Makes another ponk, and you can ponk it in and out with your thumbs. Like that. Well, a cicada doesn't have a steel shell, but it does have a shell of exoskeleton, which is a tough, springy, horny material, and it works in much the same way. Driven not with thumbs poking it inward, but muscles on the inside pulling it inward. And in a diagram, it looks rather like this. You can see those large red muscles are attached to the exoskeleton with yellow struts. And when a muscle contracts, it pops the exoskeleton inward, like that. And when the muscle relaxes, the exoskeleton pops out. And so it goes back and forth, in, out, in, out, in, out. And those blue chambers underneath are air chambers, and they make the sound reverberate and become louder, much like the sounding box on a violin or a guitar. Well, if you think you've heard a sound like that before, you have. You've probably made one, because this is a party clicker, and it works in just the same way as the cicada. A bit of stressed steel, when you bend it, it pops out with a click, and it pops in again when you let it go. And it makes a sound very much like the cicada, so much so that these clickers are actually made to look like a cicada. Cicadas are really very lovely and interesting creatures. They're a form of bug, and bugs are sap suckers in the main. And if I turn that round, you can see, running down from the mouth, a very long black injection tube. And that's used for sucking the sap out of the trees. Well, I think if it's only got a few weeks to go, we'd better let it get on with it. Mm -hmm.